Oh, it's the ceiling. Good job! Oh, Mr. Green likes it when students wear Denver Bronco shirts. Okay. Oh, Mr. Green likes it when students wear red shoes. Good job! Oh, Mr. Green likes it when students wear a bow. Good job! Oh, Mr. Green likes when students wear ties. Riley, thank you for showing integrity. It is real responsible and respectful you bring in this community. Good job. For four days, I've been trying to get your attention. The first day, you said good job to the student I was wearing the Bronco shirts. The next day, I wore that. And then the second day, it was the person wearing the red shoes. The third, the third day, it was the bow. And then the fourth day, it was the tie. And I'm wearing all this new stuff. And you notice me. You feel that way. Day one, Callista was picking up trash. And that's why I told her, good job. The second day, Mariah pushed in the chairs at lunch and I told her, good job. The third day, I was walking by, and you know students have messy lockers, but Brittany had a great looking locker and was clean, so I told her, good job. The fourth day, Jacoby held the door open for me, because I had my hands full, and I told him, good job, for opening the door. Then today, I told Riley, good job, because he picked up $10 off the floor and brought it to a responsible adult. That shows responsibility and respect. Thank you, Mr. Green, for using behavior-specific phrases. Now we know what you're looking for. I don't want to make it too long on you. I'll make it more funny. Good job. Yeah. Day five. I have this oh, it's got booyah on the back of it. That is the ugly shirt. <laughs> We're going to let you wear it backwards. Okay. The... Oh, no, I don't know. What's up with you? The back or the front? Uh, what's the back? Oh. All right. Here. Put, just put. Oh, and then the fourth day, it was tied. I'm wearing all this stuff. Yo, this year.